Hi, Christina here, founder of Liberate. I wanted to let you know that all of our amazing practitioners, healers, and intuitives are available for remote sessions. And we are continuously adding new classes, workshops, and meditations to serve you every week. Thank you for joining us, and I hope that we can help you liberate yourself. Hi, this is Christina Dam, and this is Liberate the Podcast, where we educate, motivate, inspire, and liberate your consciousness. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. Today, we're going to deep dive into sound healing and its effects on you from a quantum level to a healing level to a peace of mind and meditative space. And so welcome today, our guest, Sahar. She is an amazing sound healer that does sound baths with us regularly. And I'm, I'm excited to tap into everything that's going on here with sound healing. It's really becoming uh, at least in Los Angeles, it's becoming more and more known, whereas I think people didn't even know what a sound bath was, you know, five, six years ago. It was like, rarely, what is that? And I didn't I think, know what it was. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people that are watching, they might sort of kind of know, but maybe they haven't went to one. They haven't experienced it. They're kind of, what is it? It's a bath. It's sound. What is it? So. If you want to talk a little bit. Well, Christina, thank you so much for having me and giving me the space and creating the space for me to even do sound baths here. I love doing sound baths at Liberate. We love having you. Thank you. There's something about this space. As soon as I bring my gongs and my bowls, they start singing on their own before mm -hmm. I even. I'm really? Telling, yeah. This for, where you've created this vortex. So, so grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, thank you. And, uh, you know, with sound healing, it's so interesting because, uh, you know, we all, you know, we experience music and sound as something that's soothing, healing, exciting, motivating, you know, it, it changes our vibration, our mood, you know, so sound healing is, you know, from the day that we're born, I feel like we're introduced to sound healing. Um, but, uh, you know, like you said, uh, even before we're ago, born, people like uh, play music to the baby in the belly and, and, and the vibration. The mother's heartbeat. Oh, the that's mother's heartbeat. Right yeah, that's there. a bigger that's there right. we go. Yeah. And, and, um, and uh, you know, so for me, uh, the first time I was exposed to, I guess, a sound healing was at the end of a Kundalini class. It was at uh, Golden Bridge Yoga uh -huh. in Santa Monica. Okay. Before, yeah. Um, I was trying out Kundalini yoga, mm -hmm. totally new to it. I was a Bikram devotee for a long time before that. Uh, I did that. Bikram for a while too, but I did Kundalini first, then I went to Bikram. Oh, okay, I cool. <laughs> I was like Bikram and then I'm like, hmm, a lot of stuff going on here. Maybe yeah. I should venture out. <laughs> and uh, so uh, at the end of our Shavasana, um, they struck a gong. I didn't know it was a gong though. I just heard the sound and I was shot out into outer space and I saw colors I fell out of body. I was at s such peace um, that I, I wanted to open my eyes and see what was going on, but I didn't. I didn't want to disrupt the, what was happening. And once I opened my eyes, I'm like, what was that? And then I saw this huge gong. I didn't even know how big it was. And I'm like, oh, that's what it was. So wow. uh, fast forward to a few years later in 2018, um, I was going through a lot of transition in my life, post-divorce, uh, working a lot, partying a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, decided to kind of, uh, that I needed a break, that I need to reset my nervous system, yeah. uh, reset my ways, um, and kind of stepped out of everything that I was doing and started searching. And I realized uh, a lot of what I was looking for, you know, in, you know, uh, was, was uh, you know, being by the speaker and, and, you know, um, going to clubs and going to festivals and, you know, uh, using substances or, you know, alcohol. I was trying to find yeah. a state of oneness and detachment and mm -hmm. elevation and using vibration and sound as a way to heal myself, as a way to escape and, and get into a meditative state. Yeah. And when I decided it was time for me to do that naturally, I'm like, OK, how am I going to do this naturally? What am I really searching for? <laughs> Yeah. And um, that's when I started understanding, you know, um, that I was looking for the vibration, the frequency. Mm -hmm. uh, and that that's where I was finding my healing, um, except I want to do it, you know, uh, in a natural way. So I uh, had a few sound bowls, uh, 
started researching, started looking at, you know, gong bats and things like that. Uh, found the Sound Bath Center in Eagle Rock. And I'm like, you know what? I just want to learn how to do this. Um, so I just signed up for level one and level two practitioner training uh, under uh, Jamie Betchtold, uh, founder of the Sound Bath Center, total trailblazer in the industry. She's amazing. She's a gong goddess, I call her. Oh. And um, and studied under her and uh, just started doing it for my own self-healing and meditation um, and realized that when I was playing for myself, I started going into a transcendent state of when I'm losing track of time and I'm, I'm getting very lit within, yeah. um, on a natural, uh, uh, level. And, um, and, uh, I started offering, uh, I was going to yoga studio at the time, Model Yoga LA and, um, Amanda Such, who's managing the studio, started doing a free meditation on the beach. And she said, Hey, you know, um, come to this meditation. And I went, and I'm like, this is awesome. I'm like, Hey, do you want me to bring some bowls and my gong? Like I've been learning how to do this. And she was just doing complimentary meditations. And I started doing it with her and the feedback that I got uh, made me realize like, this is something I really want to not just do for myself, but for others. Yeah. And um, the experiences that they were ha having, I realized that we're all syncing up and we're all having the same experience somewhat. Yeah. So I um, started really getting into it and started looking into it further and um, realizing the power of the combination of meditation and sound mm. and um, how you can get someone into a state of gratitude, marrying the intention with the emotion and then throwing them into a sound bath and um, and letting, um, you know, uh, and training the brain to go from a beta to alpha to theta state. Yeah. And if they can get to that theta state. If we can do that together, that's when the real self-healing happens. Yeah. Um, so super passionate about it and the science behind it really more than anything. But it's really cool to hear about people having um, out-of-body uh, out experiences. Kind of like the first one that you had and you were just taken to out of space and yeah. here now you're doing it for other people and they're having the same experience. They're they're traveling, they're they're having this, this insight or this opening right yes and yeah. so when you first started doing it um you you had that feeling and you were doing it a lot or you going to different sound baths and going and learning so that you could find that state for yourself and then you said okay time to share this and then incorporating it with this meditation to yes. even kind of take it to the next level yes but yes, beautiful. definitely. I hadn't done that many sound baths before I became a practitioner, though. I started going to them after ah. because I wanted I was seeking um, to be uh, to clarify. I was seeking. Um, OK, so I'm into this and I know how I like to do it. But what are other people doing? Gotcha. Yeah. And I started picking up. Hey, I kind of like that. And I kind of like this. and I kind of like that. But there's also this inner knowing of, yeah. you know, what works for you. And, you know, my sound bath isn't for everyone. I'm not going to claim yeah. that's for everyone. So far, it's like, you know, I, I will have that one or two people out of like 15. They'll say, you know what? You know, that created anxiety or um, that really didn't take me anywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's OK, because a lot of time they, uh, you know, with the brain waves, they might not shift the first time. Or they might be like detoxing different energies where it feels uncomfortable. Some people mm -hmm. like if there's clogness or or congestion in certain chakras that that kind of being released. It's like when you get a massage and the masseuse goes on, they're trying to get a knot out. It's super painful. That's not relaxing, you know. And then you're like, ah, I signed up for a massage to get relaxed or, you know, or did you get what you needed? Right. And so maybe afterwards, even if you didn't interact with them, that they might have actually started to getting the shifting that they actually needed in life, but uncomfortable or or not what they were seeking as far as the experience, but the experience of what they needed. That is so true. That is so true because you get what you need. And for some, you know, for for that person, that was enough right there. Yeah. And, you know, and the next time they do it, so it's like going to the gym. You're not going to get the, the best results right away. Yeah. You know, and you you're going to get super on. sore and you're going to be mm -hmm. like super exhausted at first, too. But if you go through it. That's right. That's right. Just like any meditation, you know, you're going to hit certain blockages. If you're not if you're not used to meditating, mm -hmm. you're going to hit certain blockages until you get to a state of, you know, transcendence or elevation or, uh, you know, where you feel at one 
with the universe and you get to that elevated state. I mean, it takes a lot of practice, but that's why I love sound baths. Um, back to that, because the sound does the work for you. Yeah. I don't know about you, Christina, but I have a hard time meditating, just meditating. I like to have it guided. I you like know? guided sound, some, some, something mm -hmm. guiding you, right? And with the sound, it's like, that's why um, I like to call it, or a lot of people in the community, they call it lazy man's meditation. Because you get the benefits, you get to drop in, you get to go into that state, hopefully. I like this lazy, lazy man's, man's meditation. meditation. Okay. And, yeah. and, you know, part of that is because during a sound bath, for those that don't know that haven't went one to one, is you're laying down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for most meditations, you're sitting up and, you know, mm -hmm. it can be uncomfortable for people if they're not used to having their posture in a more like solid state and trying to sit like that making sure the spine stays straight and that the energy close through and you know a lot of times people get a little antsy or uncomfortable during longer states of meditation and the traditional uh seated meditation yes but this is like you don't have to do anything you're laying down some people like to take it seated i'll take it seated uh -huh. at times sometimes i want to lay down yeah. when i'm receiving but you really don't and um if you can drop in and and if we can get to the present moment together Mm -hmm. And then you can drop in. The sound does the rest of the work for you. And it's it's fabulous because uh, you get to a theta state without falling asleep. Mm. So you get the so you get that deep, restful experience. You can also have um, visions. You can have clarity. Some people have talked to uh, uh, they feel like they've communicated with people that have passed. Yeah. Uh, things like that. And they come out of it really rested or invigorated or, you know, really inspired by some of the visions um, that they've had or experiences that they've had. And then. And what do you think causes people to have those visions and things? In a deep theta state, um, it's it's kind of uh, it's you, it's taking them to a theta state without dropping them into a delta state. So it's like a shamanic journey when you go from beta to alpha to mm -hmm. theta. Mm -hmm. um, beta being, you know, you're 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 functioning, you're thinking, um, problem solving. Alpha, more of a relaxed meditative state, uh, hypnosis possibly, and then theta. That's when you're having, um, you know. Uh, visions, uh, dreams, um, but you're doing it in a waking state, mm -hmm. not in a sleeping state. Yeah. Um, so, and that's where you can really help um, the, you know, reset your central nervous system. Uh, your parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system starts to harmonize um, and your autonomic nervous system starts to, it, it really affects your autonomic nervous system. So your brain goes away, the controller goes away, and the body starts to reset. Mm -hmm. And that's when you get the real benefits of it, sound therapy. And yeah. what are some of the benefits of sound therapy? So many. Where do we start? Well, where do we start? Let's start with um, some of the big ones. Okay, let's start with some of the big ones. Um, relaxation, um, concentration, helps with insomnia, blood pressure, um uh ADHD uh inflammation um you know people with autoimmune disorders fibromyalgia anything that's stress related because mm. you're resetting yourself you're resetting your your uh sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system um sympathetic you know being um uh, sympathetic like your your it helps control your anxiety okay parasympathetic bodily regulations gotcha. um so you know both emotional stress physical stress um it helps with all those things so anything and you know it takes you from a place of dis-ease mm -hmm. which causes disease to a state of ease so everything's harmonious mm. and coherent and there's a coherence within the body, with the mind, with the heart. And it just really helps with, you know, just pretty much taking out the stress. You take out the stress, you take out, you know, yeah. the disease. And, so. and and I think it's important to note, like, how powerful those vibrations of sounds are. Because yes. those are all to different different hertz and frequencies yes. that, that have this. It's almost like tuning your body to like a radio dial where you're picking up these different frequencies, right? You know, yes. um, but it's causing it, you're bathing in it. That's what's called sound yes. bath, right? You know, and so your whole, every, every cell in your body, every vibration starts to vibrate the same, right? Yes. 
Um, it creates that harmony. Absolutely. It creates that harmony and then lets all of the rest go. Yes. What are some of the things that uh, people find just even after going to one session? Um, I've actually, you know, I do private sessions. That's when I do my deepest work. Um, right after a sound bath, you know, when it's a collective like at Liberate, um, <clears throat> we go back to the intention that we set in the beginning of uh, bef the meditation before the sound bath. And they seem to have some clarity there. Um, I've had people, uh, let's say if they have certain body parts that are hurting, they'll feel a vibration around those body, like, you know, like, let's say they have a, uh, you know, they've had an injury to the knee or lower back or other, maybe more, uh, um, pain physical. associated physical pains um they'll notice they'll notice those parts vibrating at a higher frequency like wow. targeted and they'll feel alleviated after seeing people you know uh, maybe they've had a more heart opening experience where they've been able to release some pent-up emotions or they've had um you know they just feel really rested or inspired yeah. or they've had visions where they've had a little bit of a journey, which is pretty cool. I like um, that. Yeah. I like so, that I go on journeys. Yeah, me too. And the symbolism it's that It's like comes I didn't think of hallucinogenic. Wow, this is great. Exactly. And, you know, they they tap into their unconscious and, um, you know, and, and they, and, and our conscious, you know, that's where our dreams are from. And that's really 95% of the brain's function is in the unconscious, right? Yeah. So, you know, and they have these, you know, they, they have archetypal experiences, um, symbolic ones, um, you know, that they have waking, so they remember them. It's mm -hmm. not lost in their dreams. And those are messengers from our psyche. So we talk about those things and like what's happening there. So. Wow. So it just brings yeah. up all of these things, but it's, it's like, I like going back to the lazy man's meditation yes. because whether somebody, you know, it's kind of like a path of surrender in a way. Absolutely. Big because you're you're allowing to just receive this beautiful healing energy, right? Yeah, let the sound do the work. Yeah. You just drop in, you relax, and you let the sound do the work. Yeah, where it's in different kind of forms, like when you first, you know, we talked about when we first got introduced to the gong, and not that I love it too, and I think that there's things for everybody and at different times in your life, but like Kundalini Yoga. There's a lot of like, OK, you're doing different postures, you're doing different breathing, you're doing different mantras. It's, there's a lot of work that goes into that. Right. Mm -hmm. Whereas this you're like, so people at, from all stages and all experiences, levels can get benefit from this, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's so funny because um, after they do a few, then they want to come back for more. Um, but sometimes going in, they I feel like sometimes people don't know how relaxing it is and how easy it is. They go in thinking, OK, now I have to meditate or now I have to, you know, really yeah. be present. I just I don't want to do it. But yeah. once they get there, they're like all I do is lay down and I wake up refreshed. And <laughs> they're like, this is great. This is amazing. And then they have a guidance and insight on their life and different blocks. And because, I mean, we are energy, right? So as, as a byproduct, you know, you're you're sharing some of the different things that might have been from, you know, walking into walking out. But as a result, if you're less stressed, more aligned, more positive, more in your truth, your whole life's going to work better. Absolutely. You're, you know, you're connecting the right side and the left side of the brain. You're creating that harmonious, you know, uh, environment within your body. And um, that shifts you. Yeah. It completely shifts you. Yeah. And it takes a while for it to integrate, too. Yeah. And then but as a result, yeah. you could find yourself in, you know, attracting better relationships, doing different things, feeling more peaceful, having more prosperity and abundance come in get more creativity, all of this, because you're in your truth, right? Absolutely. And then you feel more connected to yourself and all your answers are within anyways. And Steph, it, the more you practice going within, the less you look on the outside. Yeah. And the more you can actually create the life that you actually want to have. Yeah, because you're tapping in within yourself. You're, you're changing yourself. it in the inside and that it's going to reflect on Manifest the outside. Manifest on the outside, yeah. Now, you mentioned a little bit before we started about the quantum physics of the sound baths. Can yes. we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we can talk about that. It, you know, the, the quantum is, you know, going within that um, your reality is an effect of you. It's mm -hmm. not happening to you. You're creating it. 
So when you go into a sound bath with intention and you marry it with emotion, you're actually being present to how you actually want to feel um, setting the intention, becoming the version of you that you're trying to create in your life and staying with that emotion throughout the sound bath, you're creating a completely different quantum field around you Yeah, that's going to attract completely different things in your life that's going to shift your life. So, okay, good. Thanks. I'm like, where do we go? I'm like, that's a two hour conversation. No, I know. I mean, that's a whole other power to podcast, you know, talking about the quantum fields and things, but the basis, and that's where I was going with it because we were already starting to kind of tap on it and looking at how that is a part of the quantum and, and that expansion. And so, you know, pretty much what you're kind of saying is coming to your sound bath is going to change your whole life. (laughs) Pretty much. No. (laughs) You can change your whole life, but just use the sound. And if I can, you know, be there with you to create that sound, you know, 4.5 cycles per second and get you to that state, that's my mission. Yeah. And what kind of intentions and meditations do you set as, you know, in the beginning of your sound bath? Well, uh, the intention is really up to the participant. So they Um, said individual, you said a group one. Do individual. Oh, okay. So everybody gets their own. Absolutely. And the funny thing is, is sometimes I ask for them to share it out loud. Sometimes I can feel out the room and maybe I feel like it's maybe we should just set it within. Yeah. And um, it's funny when we talk about it at the end, if people want to share and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You know, Mm -hmm. I just kind of I just kind of go with the flow on that. Uh, A lot of times everyone's saying the same intention. It's like this collective consciousness. Yeah. And everybody gets into the same vibration collectively, too, and heals together, opens up. So, yeah, Yeah. I never think that there's a coincidence. I say that I, 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 in a meditation that I do here, it's like, you're all here. And there's a reason why you, you know, 5, 10, whatever people showed up at this time, at this date here for this particular meditation. You know, like there's, there's, there's on that bigger level. There's really no coincidences and that, you know, I think that in hearing you talk a little bit about the quantum and the shifting the reality and from the inside out is really getting that there's no coincidence of where people are at in their life either. And when you see it and there doesn't need to be any judgment at it, but you can say, OK, with a little effort and energy, you can change. And like I lo- love hearing your story about how you said, OK, I was going through a little bit of a kind of unhinged element that you probably needed for that period in your time right you know you swing in the pendulum and you know going through a divorce doing it finding yourself going in in escapism for a little bit and then time yeah and then you know pulling yourself into saying okay i need to change something right but realizing the power in that right yes this life is not happening to me i'm creating the life that i live and then as a result, yes. you shifted everything in the yeah. moment that you realize you're at power and you can shift it, right? Your thoughts and, are everything. And, it starts with your thought. And then the ability to take those action steps as a result, right? And so taking, signing up for the class is doing that, but seeing that as you shifted your inside, you shifted everything on the outside. And I think that that's what people can grab coming to your sound bath meditation or working with you one on one or coming to other things that we do or experience, you know, but it's it's about tapping back into you. Absolutely. And then listening. What is your heart or what is your mind guiding you to? And then just taking the steps, take the steps, set the intention, yeah. believe in it and, and yeah. have some guidance and help from sound. To clear out some of the blockages. That's my that's my source. I mean, sound is my way. Everyone yeah, well, I mean, we're talking way. about sound today. Oh, so people like I can't even. Yeah, exactly. Like, there might be other things, but you're yeah. the people that are listening are listening to a sound <laughs> bath meditation Absolutely. podcast. So, yeah. so I'm hoping that you try this avenue as at least one of the tools in your toolbox to say, exactly you know, is, yeah. does this work for you? And you know, maybe you works for you for a period of time, then you do something else, and you come back to it, or you do this, or you integrate, or whatever. But but you're curious, you're tuning in. So that's why I say sound. <laughs> sound for me is above all else. But yes, I, I am so happy that, you know, you have the space here 
for not only me, but so many other sound healers to do their work and so many different styles. Yeah. You know, but going um, back to sound, like, I mean, it's not even just about it being for you. Every vibration of sound runs everything in the universe. Right. You know, it's so all frequency, it's yeah. all frequency. Mm-hmm. It's all vibration. Mm-hmm. Everything's a vibration and vibration manifested into something that we hear is sound. Right. Absolutely. So, you know, when you look at it like that, we're this cosmic collage of vibration that's floating around and all of these different forces creating these waves of frequencies through that, you know, when you can tap into it and when you hear it and when you can alter it or shift it, you can shift everything. I love it. I love what everything you're saying, like a hundred percent check, 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 check. That's all it is. We're all vibrational beings. We're all energy, yeah. you know, and we're out of whack, yeah. you know, we're completely out of whack. We're complete. I mean, you know, daily life puts us out of whack, you know, or we have so many different ways that we get stressed out. And, you know, going into a sound bath, um, it totally just resets you. And yeah. that's why it's so necessary. And, you know, twice a month, really. I mean, they've done the research and they say twice a month you can get really great benefits. You don't have to do it every day or every week. I like that's to a- do it every day. That's amazing, though. So twice, twice a month. month. And, yeah. and you know, I mean, and if you haven't done a sound bath for those that are tuning in, maybe listen to the way that different types of music create vibrational harmony or disharmony in your system, make you feel anxious or peaceful or sad or energetic, like just regular songs. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, like and and those vibrations of those songs and the melodies of the songs will put people in different states. And I mean, that's something you can just play with on your own and say, okay, if this can do it, imagine doing something that's actually putting me into the vibrational harmony and going through these states and pulling me into theta and giving me some clarity and peace of mind through the intention and healing me. Right. Absolutely. Or working through the parts that you don't want to work through yeah. and, and getting uncomfortable and getting anxious and having that breakthrough and then dropping in. Yeah, there's that, too, because I like to the way I play is, is deep and heavy. Yeah, I you like know? it. Yeah, I go really bassy, really deep, really heavy. It can get uncomfortable. And some people, they just love it. You know, yeah. some people like MRIs and some people can't stand them. Some people so, fall asleep in that. So it's just, you know, you have to see what works for you. And that's why it's good to go to different sound baths and, and to or sound. So, this is, so you're saying yeah. yours isn't mild. This is yours no. isn't for the week. This is no. strong and mighty, ready yeah. for transformation. <laughs> you're going to take them there. Yeah, I am. It's, it might get uncomfortable. You might love it and be like, hey, go harder, you know. Yeah. Um, but I kind of feel out. I kind of feel out the, the, the audience, too. I can kind of feel, you know, yeah, we all yeah. speak to each other without speaking to each other. Oh, so. yeah. Eighty percent of communication is nonverbal. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, where can people find you? Uh, you know, Christina. You know, this has been a side venture for me. So I, I, it's kind of been word of mouth and Instagram. That's okay, all I so, have going so, on right now. So it's your Instagram so, handle. Yeah. And so we'll put that on there if you don't mind. Sahara we'll, sounds. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. And and you know, of course, here at Liberate, and if you come to any of the pod or uh, the um the sound baths in person, yeah, I've heard that you also do the private, so that's possible too. So. It's great. If I love doing it here, though, everyone just come here. You come here. You can also see the other ones that she's doing in town and around because I'm sure we're not the only place. But, you know, it, maybe it's closer to you or wherever. I'm all over L.A. So, yeah, I'm happy to be here. So thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Until next time. <laughs> If you enjoyed this conversation, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you want some more amazing resources on your path of liberation, head over to liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, at Liberate Hollywood, all one word, or Liberate Emporium, all one word. Until next time, liberate yourself. Hi, I want you to know that all of our amazing services are available remotely in the safety of your home. Whether that's getting an intuitive reading, an hypnotherapy session, and even an energy healing. And yes, they're just as effective remotely as they are in person. 
So please allow yourself to look up all of our practitioners, see the links below, or just call us to schedule an appointment. We're here for you. And I know that this is a challenging time for all of us, and we're going to get through it together.